Hi guys, it's November. I cannot believe it. I feel like, like where did the time go? How old are you when you say, where did the time go? Like that is a sign that you are getting old, but that's okay. We're all getting old. That's the part of life. So that's my intro for this month's favorites. I also do have to call out the fact that I have makeup on and hair done and clothes on, at least from the top up. <laughs> this is a unique situation. So we like to call it out and applaud it when it happens. I'm just pre-filming a lot of videos right now because I am busy no matter what. It feels like no matter the time of the year, work is busy. So I gotta film them on the weekend and get them out to you guys like that. So it's November favorites. I feel like you guys have been liking the monthly favorite videos. So I hope that continues. My goal this year was to do a monthly favorites every single month without fail. And so far, 11 out of 11. We will see if I get to the December one. I mean, at this point I have to, right? Like I can't break the streak, but I do wanna know if you're liking them. I'm just looking at numbers in like terms of YouTube likes and views and that kind of thing. And it's definitely just my subscribers, which is fine. Like the, the pull and the like draw is not, I'm not gonna get to the wider audience because YouTube just doesn't do that. Like say TikTok would, but that's okay. I like it. I'm talking to you guys. We're friends. It works. So let me know if you would like me to continue them into next year, or maybe I was thinking maybe I might do like a quarterly favorites, like spring, summer, fall, winter favorites instead of monthly, because it is a lot, but maybe not. So you guys let me know and we'll get going. So, so let's jump in. You know, my favorites doesn't mean it has to be affordable or that it has to be pricey. It's just what I've been loving this month. So that's all it is. And of course I will link everything below. If you're interested, check them out from the links below. Okay. The first one, this is the house or beauty. I always go to say house beauty of Josian ginseng cleansing oil. This one, I think it's actually not super pricey. I want to say it's like around $20. I got it off of Amazon. It comes in this, what is this called? Pump top. And I do love a good pump top when it's a cleansing oil. Obviously you can't get a cleansing bomb out of a pump top. This is 210 or 7.1 fluid ounces. So you're getting quite a bit, especially for that price. And I do have like quite a few cleansing oils and I'm planning on doing a video once I get through more of them. But this is by far one of my favorites. This one and the Purito one, I think are my two favorites. Some of the others are either too, like the, the texture's not thick enough. I like a little bit more of a thick texture just because I feel like if it's too thin, you like rub it and it's gone and it doesn't do anything. I also like when they actually emulsify with water, like other ones where they don't turn milky. That's not for me. That doesn't mean it doesn't work. I just like that like actual emulsification. It feels like it's doing more. And this one is kind of the best of both worlds. So. I really, really haven't been enjoying it so far. I haven't had it that long and I've already used quite a bit, which is also saying a lot because I have so many cleansing bombs. Okay, let's do, I guess we'll do sunscreens and I have to get one. So these two are new to me from La Roche Posay. I stress that they're new to me. This one is actually new. This is Anthelios UV Correct Daily Lotion Sunscreen SPF 70. And then this is Anthelios Ultra Light light fluid sunscreen 60. So these are American ones. So they do have the American filters, which are in this one, avobenzone, homosalate, octosalate, and octocrylene. They both have the same filters. They don't give me any icing. They both are just spectacular chemical sunscreens. I'm telling you, like it's been in my head for a while. I'm like, La Roche-Posay, if I had to just have one brand, it might be La Roche-Posay, like maybe just for sunscreen. I don't know if I could do it for all skincare. I don't love all of their skincare, but for sunscreens, they just like every single time, it's like, check, check, check. This is exactly what I want. You can also get the ones in Europe, the like ultra light fluid Shaka ones, which are spectacular, but these are for my American people who can't order those for whatever reason, don't want to. You can get kind of comparable ones here in the US. This one is lighter. It's gonna dry down quicker. It's gonna have not necessarily a matte finish, but I would say like just a natural finish. So if you just have like oily skin or you don't want that look, this is the one for you. I also freaking love that it's SPF 60. How can you beat that? You can't. And then this one is kind of like, they tend to have two different variants. The one like that, the Shaka lighter fluid. And then this one, which is more like a lotion. It's a little bit heavier. It's a bit richer. It's going to give you that dewy glowy look if that's what you want. 
and it's SPF 70. Like, what's that? That's great. I, I don't know. And I think this one is actually pretty new to the market. So I'll probably do a, a review, like a full review on both of them. But I did want to get it out there because I've been kind of just using these like nonstop this month. Okay, I do have more sunscreens, but just one actually. This is the Good Molecule Sheer Mineral Sunscreen SPF 30. I have a review. I don't think it'll be up yet when this uh, monthly video goes up. But just to say it's in my monthly favorites and it's a sheer non-tinted mineral sunscreen. I feel like if you watched any of my other videos, you know that means something. I don't love non-tinted mineral sunscreens for the most part. I feel like they always say that they're sheer, that they're invisible, whatever, and they're not. This one, it's about as close as you can get. My only issue is it's SPF 30, and I actually say that with like some means to back that up. I was wearing this a lot when I got it out in San Francisco, and I went on a bike ride with my dad. I had my helmet on and everything, but we went on like a two hour plus bike ride, and I got back and I'm pretty much, I'm sure that I had like a tan. I mean, it wasn't the end of the world. Like if you get a tan or a sunburn, it's not the end of the world. I just try not to, especially on my face. So I do think that this is one of those ones that it's not probably water resistant. I don't think it is. They didn't, I don't remember, but it's just not going to be the highest protection. So if you're out like on a two hour bike ride, like I was probably just wear something stronger or reapply. But for everyday use, if you have a lighter skin tone, it's going to be a really great one. Non-irritating, just no frills. And also it's like $8. How could you want anything more? Okay, let's get into some skincare. And then I have a few like kind of random products. I guess this is La Roche-Posay as well. This video is not at all sponsored by them. Although you guys watching, I would love, love, love to do a video with you. This is my second of this uh, moisturizer. And I had this out in California. I packed like just a few moisturizers because I didn't have a lot of room. I use this nonstop. So this is the Hydrophase HA Rich Moisturizer. <laughs> and it's not cheap. I think it's like 30 some dollars, but it's really, really nice in the fact that it's light and thin, but it actually does moisturize. And I don't know if their claim about like the 72 hour moisturization is true, but I feel like maybe it is because every time I'm out in California, like beyond or before this, my skin would just be like, like the Sahara desert so dry. And this time I didn't feel like it was, maybe it was winter, that's why. But I just, I really, really enjoy it. So if it's one of those moisturizers that like that kind of thing you're looking for, this would be good. I don't know if it's rich enough for some people if you have drier skin, but like for the most part, I think it's gonna work really well for a lot of people. Okay, two more skincare and then we'll get on with it. So this is the Beauty Pie Super Retinol High Dose Intensive Booster Treatment with Ficacel Vita Pina Retinol Complex and Lactic Acid. So if you are a Beauty Pie member, which you have to pay like their monthly or yearly membership, then you can get their products and they're at like such an affordable price. And they are usually the same formulas as like very high-end luxury brands. So if this were on the market without Beauty Pie, I'm sure it would be like $70, $80. And then the Beauty Pie price is probably like $20. I have loved this stuff. What I really like about it is that lactic acid and the like Pina retinol. So it's not the highest retinol. It's not like a very strong, well, retinol, A-L at the end, are stronger. And then tretinoin obviously is the strongest. But this is like um, a lesser version, so your your skin is gonna take more to translate it into something that can actually work for your skin, but that's okay. But that with the lactic acid, that combination actually is like really good for my skin because my skin loves acids. So I've been applying this twice a day. I feel like it's lasted me a long time. Yeah, it's 1.7 ounces, which is more than most skincare. Usually it's just one ounce. So I've really been liking it. I'm probably almost out and I wanna buy more. The only thing is Beauty Pie, I feel like I have to make a big order because their shipping is pretty terrible. <laughs> Usually I place an order and I get the order like two weeks later. I, I don't know, that's my one qualm with Beauty Pie. So it's not one of those things. Also, they don't have free shipping. You always have to pay $8, which is frustrating. So I feel like I wait until I have like way more items to buy from Beauty Pie before placing an or order. So this is a good one. Okay. And then the last skincare is the Ule Hendrickson Banana Bright Sunkissed Face Primer. This is a self tanner. This is really good. This was also on sale for like half off. 
So maybe they're discontinuing it. I hope not. But it was like 20 bucks, which for Ule Hendrickson, and it, you say it Ule, I think, is pretty cheap is what I was going to say. But this stuff, I don't use it as a primer. Like, I don't think it does anything. It just sinks in. And for me, a primer is usually my, like my sunscreen or my skincare. But I like this because it's got this really nice, like golden-y glow and it does give you a self tan. So you put it on one day and then the next day you will wake up feeling a lot more tan. But like, look at this. Do you see that glow? I mean, it's hard to tell on camera, but it really, really has this nice, warm, golden-y glow. So if it's still on sale, I would recommend getting it. Even if it's not, I really like it, but you know, you be the judge if it's worth it. Okay, now we've got two more items. They are quite different and also I love them both so, so much. So the first one is Answer. This is the at-home keratin treatment. I'm not gonna talk super long about this because I have a video coming on it, a full-length video. Just to let you know though, if you have curly, like frizzy, unruly, which is not a bad thing, but just like you want straighter, maybe softer, less frizzy hair. This stuff is it. It comes, I got the whole kit and they actually sent this to me with no, like I didn't have to post about it. I didn't get anything from it. They just sent it. But it comes with the, the spray, the treatment, and then a shampoo and a conditioner and also like a little flyaway thing, which is actually pretty useful. I love it. I just bought two more of them because they're having their big like Black Friday sale. So I'll definitely try to get this up. I don't know if it's gonna get up before the Black Friday sale is over, but if you're watching it kind of around that time and interested, I would say definitely go buy it. I bought two of the treatments. I didn't buy this shampoo and conditioner. I think those are negligible. You can get, basically what they want is you, they don't want you to have sulfates or parabens in your shampoo. And you can find that anywhere these days. So the shampoo and conditioner are, you know, whatever, but the actual treatment is spectacular. I have had keratin and Brazilian blowouts for years now, not all the time, but I tend to get like one a year, especially in the summer where it's just like my hair is like pink. And this does the same thing at a fraction of the price and at home. It's spectacular. So again, I'm not going to talk too much more about it because I do have that full video coming, but just know if you're in the market for something like this, go pick it up now when the sale is going and I hope you love it. Okay. The very last thing which has cords everywhere is my current body LED mask. Guys, I have been using this, I think like two months now. And I just have to say, it's very expensive. All LED masks that are truly like worth it, the ones that are good are more expensive. And I'm actually gonna insert a link to her YouTube, or no, her Instagram name is Goals To Get Glowing. You've probably heard of her. And I don't even want to like try to rip her off because she did such amazing work, but she has a whole comprehensive blog post about LED masks. And it's really worthwhile to go look. Some of them are comparable. Like they're just a, a little bit different, but they all work the same or not all, but the ones that she has. And then there are others that are just not worth it. So don't spend your money, like your hard earned money on something that's not worth it. And her blog post will do a spectacular job of telling you the ins and outs and really getting down to the nitty gritty of the, the science behind it. But Current Body sent this to me, again, with no, I don't have to post it about anything. I've just been loving it. I brought it on my girls weekend trip last weekend. My girlfriends all loved it. One of them is like getting one for her birthday slash Christmas. And yeah, also I've been using it on my face every day, but I've also been using it on my decollete. And it, the, the nice thing about these kinds that are flexible, you can use it anywhere. I started using it on my hands the other day, but I do want to tell you on my decollete, normally when I sleep, you know, you get the lines, you get those lines if you're a woman where you're sleeping on your side and your boobs are pushing up against each other and you get the wrinkles as you get older. I don't have them now when I wake up because I've been using this every single day and on my face, it's a little bit harder to see. I think the wrinkles and the lines are a bit more deep set but I'm gonna continue using it because I really was so impressed by the decollete that I think like there's promise for my face. So it's so good. Oh, and I do have a code for this one. I think it's just CB Current Body Dana, and that will get you 20% off. So again, I did not have to post about this. This is not sponsored in any way. They did gift it to me, but I've also been freaking loving it. So yes, that's it. 
those are my favorites. Those are my monthly November favorites for 2022. I hope you enjoyed it, guys. Give it a big old thumbs up. It really does help. Leave a comment below if you're liking any of these or if you've tried any of them. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.